All right, we are in the boat. Let's go for it. Oh yeah. Well, good morning, Jetty Rockers. Welcome back to Jetty Rocks Fishing. I'm Captain Mike D. I'm out here today. We got Terry doing a little bit of a quick wash down on the boat because I got all kinds of debris in it from the weather lately. But we got about three dozen finger mullet and about a dozen blue crabs. So we are going to go out here, see if we can't get into some damage on some redfish. That's the name of the game. So hopefully we'll do good. Wish us luck and we're going to get to it, y'all. That's pretty. That is pretty. y'all right, we made it out to the rocks chris beat me here chris wakes up chris chris get him chris get him buddy chris wakes up earlier in the morning See, chris rodney fishes that's how chris fishes he's a rodney fisherman but he's already got if one it works it works it, it works he's got he's got jackie jackerson on there he's got something on there is that a jack that looks like a jack Shark got him? I think so. I can't get like, Alright y'all, this is what we're gonna be using. We just got some live finger mullet. Using a three-aught hook right through the eyes, a little fish finder rig. And my man, that sucker came right off. What did? The mullet just came right off. It literally <laughs> fell right off the hook. <laughs> I burst it, thank you. Golly. Try that again, y'all. There we go. Uh, hooked up. Uh, ain't acting like a redfish. Maybe, might be. Uh, yeah, maybe. Let's see what this is here first. What is this? Snook. Nice little snooky snook. Come here, buddy. Come here. All right. There we go. Nice little snook. See you, buddy. There's something right here. Shark got it. Shark got it. Golly. Oh my gosh. That sucked. Oh. Oh, he's coming up. Oh, hope that shark don't get him. Yeah, he's already. He's already in me. Nice red. I got, I, I got him, I got it. There we go. There we go. I took my hook though. If he's legal, I'm keeping him. Pretty sure he's legal. Nope, he's not, he's not 18 inches. See you later, buddy. Hooked up. Where's that net, buddy? It's on the other, on the other side. Oh, 
a little small red. So you can flick him in. Measure him, he might be legal. Might be an 18 incher. I'm putting him in a lob wall. Colin? Yep. 17. 17? 17 and three quarters. Oh, see you later, buddy. Terry, you got a fish? Good fish? Yeah, decent fish. Feels like it. Oh, I'm good. I got a net right here. Yep. Uh, no, another little. Look, no, look at the look at the dots on that one though. <laughs> Golly, that was loaded with dots. Measure him. And get an 18 incher. Nope, 17 and a half. 17 and a half. See you, buddy. Come on. Eat it. Take the whole thing. Oh. Pull it right out of his mouth. See if he'll come back for it. There he is. Oh, I'm just pulling it out of his mouth. Mine didn't make it to the bottom a minute ago when I cast. Hey. I got him. I got him that time. I got him that time. I'm gonna let mine stay out that far. Yeah, I got him. Just another little small red, probably. Probably another little rat red. Yep, another rat. He looks bigger. Yeah, he looks a little bigger. I'm gonna just splash the heck out of me. Come on. If he's 18, he's going in the box, I'll tell you that. He's 18. Put money on it. 17 three quarters. 17 three quarters. Yep, yep. I better come back there. How about 19 and a half? How about in the box? <laughs> good fish that's a good fish that's a that's a good fish that's a good fish that's a good fish oh I did Broke it off or something. Yeah. Cut it clean. Dang. Must have been a shark or a bluefish or something. That's a clean bite, dude. Yep. Uh-oh. Come on, Terry. Uh, nope. I don't think so. You never know. Yeah. Might be a snook. He might make it. He might be close. I'm gonna say 17. See him real quick. Mm -hmm. Pretty fish. He might be 18. He might be. Tail pinch, right? Yeah. He is 19 and a quarter. Oh, right, come check him on this thing real quick. He's 19. Alright, I'm gonna throw him in a box. Yeah. He's... Throw him in the live well. We'll stay for another five minutes. See yeah. if we can get see if we can get another big see if we can get a big one. I'm getting bit. I'm getting bit. Come on. He's on it. Come on, come on. Here we go. Ah, oh, I dropped it. See if he'll come back and get it. There he is. I got him that time. What is this? What is this?
think that's a jack. Yep. Jack. Might be my lunch. It might be my lunch. Alrighty. I still got my mullet. My mullet's still alive. Alrighty. Jackerbell. Oh, let me bleed him real quick because I might eat him. I might eat this one. Dude, just hit the bottom. I wasn't even ready yet. Oh, just something just ate it. Okay. Yep. I don't know if it's a cuda or it might be a cuda. Maybe a cuda. Dropped it. Yeah, he just dropped it. It was a good hit though, that was a solid hit. There he is, there he is, come on. Come on, come on. There he is. There he is. Jack. Hmm? Jack. There's also a barracuda right here, too. He just got me. That's like the that's like the fourth fish he's taken. Did you see the sharks today? Uh, Chris did. I didn't see any. All right, I'm back home. I got my Jackerville here, and I did bleed him. I did bleed my Jack. So I'm going to go ahead and just... Make an incision right here. Just rip this side off. We've got a nice little fillet right there. And Jack does have dark meat. They are not a white meat fish by any means. I'm going to go ahead and take this fillet right here and skin it. And I'm going to try to float it a little bit so I leave some of that red meat on the skin. Yep, did pretty good. Didn't do too bad. All right. So here. There we go. Cut this red meat off. It's right there. Oh, that's perfect. And that's a nice looking piece of jack. We got nice little pieces of jack there. Just enough for me to eat for lunch. So I have a little snack for lunch. And what we're going to do is I'm going to put some uh, blackened seasoning on these and we're going to just cook them in a pan with a little bit of oil and that's it. All right, what I have here is just a little bit of Chef Paul's Black and Redfish Magic. I'll put a little bit on here. Best I can. I don't want to absolutely cover it with this, if I can help it. Just get a little bit on there. Just enough to give a little bit of flavor and a little bit of crust. All right, and that's it. All right, I got some olive oil heating up in a pan here. I'll put these in here. Obviously, my burner is not level. I'm just going to cook those real quick like that. And we're going to make a sandwich. Alright, my jack is done. Alright. That looks good, y'all. All right, I got my Jackerville all done. I got me two onion rolls here. I already put some 
Chipotle Ranch on here. You've seen me use that before. Absolutely love this stuff for sandwiches. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just put us a, a piece on here. I don't have no romaine lettuce. I thought we had some, but we didn't. And it's too late for me to go to the store. So we're gonna do it without it. I got me some smoked Gouda cheese. Put me some smoked Gouda on here. And there we go. Just a really simple sandwich. Like I said, if I had some romaine lettuce, I definitely would put that on there, but we're all out right now. And I'm not going to the store just to make a trip, just to do that. But real quick, before I eat my sandwich, I'll take a piece of this jack right here. Without it being in the sandwich, we'll just taste it like this. And here we go. There is nothing in the world wrong with Jacker Bell. So many people say they're trash fish. They are not. They really are not. Now, they're not my favorite fish. There's not a fish that I would catch a bunch of and put in the freezer. But fresh like this, I like them a lot. If I'm planning on eating fish for the day or lunch, I would rather take a Jackerville like this than the redfish that we caught. I gave that redfish to Terry and I decided to come home and eat this. I like Jack way better the redfish i don't really like redfish i do like it on the half shell and i've done some videos like that but that's about the only way i'll eat a redfish jackavel doing it like i just did it or just straight blackening it in some butter you can't go wrong with it so we're gonna take a bite of the sandwich oh yeah i love smoked gouda cheese that stuff right there is the bomb Oh man. And with that Chipotle Ranch, with that fish, oh my goodness. That's a stupid good sandwich. That's a simple sandwich. It is missing some romaine lettuce. So if I've, it would be totally even better if I had some romaine lettuce, but I don't. But that right there, that's going to be a good lunch, and I like it a lot. Now, I think this might be a little bit too hot for Daisy, but we'll see if she'll eat it. Daisy, you want a piece of fish? Come here, Daisy. Yeah, she knew she did. Come here, Daisy. Oh, yeah. She only want to get off the couch. That is good. Very, very good. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for hanging out with us today and going fishing with us. That is way better than that saltwater catfish. So many people have messaged me saying, I did it wrong, I did this. I don't think you can do anything to make that fish taste good. For me. If you like it that's your taste buds you deal with that that's fine nothing wrong with it if you like fish great there's a hundred thousand people out there that don't like jack Revels, and i like them so don't take my opinion on fish try it for yourself but i think if you try jack you will like it especially if you do it that way thank you guys for watching we'll see you guys on the next one tie lines y'all